A Hoboken lab devoted to naval engineering is aiming its latest experiment at finding the best way to sink a ship. The Stevens Institute of Technology is helping to guide a project to turn a World War II-era Liberty ship into an artificial reef. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. The Davidson Laboratory at Stevens is equipped to test models of ship hulls and other marine structures at pretty much any speed under practically any combination of ocean conditions. This is the first time we've intentionally tried to sink anything. <laughs> we usually try to avoid that. But it isn't the first time this particular hull design has been tested in research tanks here. The model represents the SS Vandenberg, one of 2,751 cargo ships in the Liberty class. It was designed and tested here in the 1940s. It was built in seven days. Imagine, seven days to build a ship. You know, that in, during the war, all kind of things were, would happen. So the testing that was done here was done under very time-pressured constraints. En route to becoming an artificial reef in relatively shallow waters off Key West, the Vandenberg made one more appearance at Stevens, again in the form of a scale model. They had some concerns about the ship uh, not sinking properly or uh, landing it sideways or having its uh, bow or stern up in, above the water. We were looking for um, how it sinks for different scenarios. In all the permutations we've tried, including running it in uh, five-foot beam seas, all the time it sank properly. Researchers considered several ways to simulate, over and over, the controlled flooding of the Vandenberg's below-deck compartments. The original one was to uh, actually fill the bottom compartments of the model with balloons, which would press against the inside of the hull, sealing up the holes, and then pop them remotely. We considered uh, small spring-activated hinge hinged lids over the holes. In the end, they taped up the holes in the hull, inside and out, with charges of black powder in between. This gave them the control they needed to test different approaches to flooding the ship. The real Vandenberg is scheduled to be sunk on May 15th. Patrick Regan, NJN News, Hoboken.